Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to use the journey to Divine Masculine. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get into this energy. Thank you. 
Hey, everybody. I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you so much for sitting up here being here at my channel. I just truly appreciate it for you guys being here, and I just want to thank everybody. Okay, let me go over the services that I provide really quick, and then we'll get straight into this reading. Okay. I provide a protection bubble that covers you with the blood of Jesus. It prevents any harm, danger, or evil coming towards you for 90 days for $22. I also have a family protection bubble bundle, which is for one adult and up to four children. We still got to keep our children protected against molestation, abuse, generational curses, bullying, anything that can happen when you're not around your children. This protection bubble will come in handy and keep them safe at all costs, okay? And that is for one adult and up to four children for $44. I also do cord cutting, which severs any ties to any unhealthy, toxic narcissists, ex-lovers, family members, co-workers, neighbors, anybody that's not for your highest good. Please sit up here and Google the benefits of getting a cord cutting, okay? And those are $55. I also do reversal spell work. I can remove curses, voodoo, hexes, any kind of black magic or spell work that has been done on you. I can send it back to sender right away, okay? If you do not have any money whatsoever, please feel free to leave in the comments on what you need the prayer to be about in detail so I can make sure... Okay, from my mouth to God's ears, okay? And if you need a little more privacy, please feel free to reach out through my email, which is innocencetarot at gmail.com. Once again, that's innocencetarot at gmail.com, okay? And I will sit up here and put you in a special prayer book, okay? And if you need to know any other services or any other, you know, um, items that I sell, Please feel free to reach out, okay? And if you just, you know, down and out and you just really want to sit up here and vent, please reach out to my email, okay? And I always will uplift you, okay? So, we're going to jump straight into this read. Make sure you guys push that like button and subscribe to the channel. will be greatly appreciated, okay? And we're about to jump straight into this reading, okay? So... It looks like Divine Masculine, okay, he finally sitting up here ready to sit up here and take that mask off. He finally ready to sit up here and confess everything that he has done to you, okay? Divine Masculine know that you ain't playing no more games with him and that he got to come clean with everything that he has done to you, okay? Things that you know about and different things that you don't know about, okay? And God is really on Divine Masculine about sitting up here, keeping it, just coming correct, taking that fucking mask off and stop being deceptive, okay? Divine Masculine is finally starting to see, okay, transparently, okay? Do everything that he has been sitting up here doing and recognizes that he needs to change, okay? Divine Masculine is super regret. Sitting up here thinking and replaying everything that he did to you, how he hurt you, how he went about different things, okay? Divine Masculine is feeling like shit right now, okay? And he really wants to sit up here and make things right with you, okay? Divine Masculine has got the clarity of what he needs to sit up here and do, okay? Divine Masculine is feeling extra triggered right now, okay? The more and more he continues to get these flashbacks and downloads from God on what he has done, he feels extra triggered, okay, on the different ways that he went about things, his behavior towards you, how he treated you like he was just some random bitch on the fucking street. He really triggered by it, okay? And Divine Masculine has been very you know, vulnerable, has been crying up in his feelings and feeling extra triggered for what he has done to you, and which he should. He crossed the line in so many fucking different ways, okay? Every tear that you cried, Divine Masculine been crying as well, okay? And he's feeling extra fucking triggered, okay? Because, see, Divine Masculine is going through a whole lot of chaos in his life right now, okay? A lot of karma that came about, Okay, Divine Masculine is going through hardships, okay, money is funny, okay, every time Divine Masculine turn around, it's some kind of tower moment that's happening, and a lot of these fair weather friends is falling away as well, okay, now that the money is gone, now that he ain't able to do the different things that he was accustomed to doing, okay, and having the money that he was accustomed to having, now 
he's starting to see everybody for their fucking true colors, okay? And it's really hurtful to Divine Masculine, okay? Because he's a person that was materialistic. See, Divine Masculine always felt like he was better than other people because he had money and nice things, okay? And he forgot who was blessing him with those nice things, which was God, okay? So Divine Masculine is currently, okay, drinking a whole lot because his st stability is being affected. His stability is being affected right now, and Divine Masculine don't know how to feel, okay? Now that he's seeing that everybody is pulling away, okay? But see, what Divine Masculine needs to wake up and see is he needs to be thanking God, okay? For God showing him what people was really around him for in the first place. And they was only around for his stability and what he could do, okay? Divine Masculine got very low self-esteem now that he ain't got the money that he's a used to have, accustomed to having, okay? And his self-esteem is really down because he can't showboat. He can't walk around with wives and money and, and this and that like he used to, okay? He's having a reality check, okay, from God right now, bringing him back to earth, okay? He could be an earth sign. I don't know where that came from, but bringing him back to earth, okay? Divine Masculine is starting to learn his lessons and see that he needs to change, okay? You can't take this shit with you, okay? And you can't be out here being materialistic, forgetting who blesses you with these material blessings, okay? And Divine Masculine wasn't giving praises to God, and he wasn't helping the right people. So God has freezed up on his um, finances, okay, to remove the people that don't need to be in his life, Okay. Divine Masculine is getting all the different knowledge that he needs to get, okay? Researching, working on himself, okay? Divine Masculine, he's tired of suppressing the way that he feels. He's angry inside. He's having a lot of anxiety. He's feeling really anxious. And he's tired of suppressing the way that he sits up here and feels, okay? Divine Masculine is finally throwing up the white flag, ready to surrender, ready to surrender to this love, ready to surrender to this journey, ready to surrender to God ready to make the necessary steps, okay? Because it ain't up to him. God had to step in and freeze up his benefits. God had to step in and let Divine Masculine know that he ain't running shit, okay? And Divine Masculine had no other choice but to surrender to God, okay? Now he's growing up that red flag, I mean that white flag, hoping and praying that God would sit up here and have mercy on him, okay? Divine Masculine is constipating, going to sit up here coming towards you to make things right with you. He's been thinking long and hard, okay? But see, Divine Masculine, he feels very unworthy right now. He feels unworthy because he knows that he self-sabotaged the whole relationship, okay, with this twin flame union. Divine Masculine know he crossed the line in the worst way concerning you. And he feels that he done done so much to you that he ain't got the right to come back and ask you to come back to him. And he's right. He did cross the line. But he still got to do the right thing. He still got to come in and repent and apologize and make things right with you, even if you're willing to take him back or not. Okay? And Divine Masculine is finally sitting up here having to come out of his pride and having to do the right thing because God ain't playing with him. Okay, Divine Masculine is losing everything, okay, right now. And he has no other choice but to come out of his pride, no matter how unworthy he feels. So he's getting up the confidence to finally come forward, to finally sit up here and make things right with you, Divine Feminine, because he's been sitting up here soul searching. He's been sitting up here soul searching. He's been sitting up here having all type of different memories about you realizing that you didn't deserve the way that he treated you, the way that he dogged you, the way that he turned his back on you. Divine Masculine is thinking back on how good of a person that you was to him, having the nostalgia memories about you and him, okay? Really heavy-duty soul searching, okay, concerning you. He need, he he been soul searching on what he needs to do concerning you, Divine Feminine, and God ain't playing with him. He got to come back and apologize and make things right okay or he might not make it okay he might not even make it with his life if he don't do right because god is snatching everything up from divine masculine he going through it he under judged me he going through a lot of karma and divine masculine he can't get around on making things right with you divine feminine and he's going to come and make things right with you he has no other choice divine masculine is going to sit up here and communicate with you He's going to come and ask you for the opportunity to make things right. 
If divine masculine, don't leave this karmic. Don't do the right thing, okay? No matter if you take him back or not, divine masculine got hell to pay. So he's coming in to see if he can get the opportunity to have you back in his life and to have the opportunity for God to get his foot off his neck, okay? He ain't got no other choice because divine masculine realizes that you're the one that really has his heart. He holding on to you. His heart beating for you. And Divine Master been all out here around the world and I, 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 fucking with all these fucking dumbass, nobody ass bitches. And he finally done realized, okay, that you is the one that has his heart, Divine Femi. Mm-hmm. He realizes that he would never, ever find no one else like you. And he's right, okay? And he's right. And he been doing a whole lot of soul searching, whole lot of thinking, okay? And God then brought it back to his memory, who you are to him. Divine Masculine has been going through a spiritual awakening. Like I told you, God is trying to bring Divine Masculine to the light. Okay, he done stripped Divine Masculine from everything. People, finances, everything, okay? He has, okay? And Divine Masculine is going to sit up here and find the confidence in order to come towards you. Find the confidence, okay, to sit up here and communicate with you and make everything right, okay? Like I said, he ain't got no other choice but to, okay? God don't care about his pride. God said, you're going to get your ass up and you're going to do the right thing and you're going to come to this light and you finna surrender and change your fucking ways if you want to or not, okay? God had to step in on Divine Mask because he wasn't, he, he was still over there in his comfort zone with this karmic, okay? Sitting up here keeping the relationship and the union stagnant, okay? God said, you ain't got to be with my Divine Family, but you damn sure gonna sit up here and make it right concerning her, okay? Divine Masculine is putting up boundaries, okay, with his messy-ass mama and his karmic, okay? His mama played a big part in the whole situation as well, encouraging her son to sit up here and not make it right with you for the longest. She encouraged the bullshit. She knew that her son was in love with you, and this bitch continued with the bullshit. And I ain't trying to disrespect nobody's mama, but it's a lot of messy-ass mamas, okay? She's a mammy, okay? I'm from Houston. That's what they call them in the South, a mammy. It ain't no mama because a mama going to direct her kid to do the right thing if she like it or not. That's her job, to teach her kid right from wrong, okay, and bring them to God, okay? That's all she had to do, and she couldn't even do that, okay? Divine Masculine loved his mama so much, okay, that he all he wanted to do was please her, and if that meant being with the karmic and picking women that his mama wanted, he went along with the okie though, just to please her, just for her to not turn her back on him, okay? His mom always made him feel like if he didn't do what she said, he was the wrongest person in the world. And Divine Masculine grew up feeling like his feelings didn't matter. And it's due to his messy ass, mean, bitter ass mama. Okay? It's just the truth. She kept a lot of bullshit going on behind the scenes concerning you and your Divine Masculine. Okay? This bitter ass old woman that had nothing better to do instead of working on her life. Okay? But Divine Masculine... He ain't um, innocent in the whole thing, okay? But he finally realizing that he got to put up boundaries. He finally realizing what how he feel matters, okay? And he's putting up boundaries concerning his mama and this karmic, okay? So better late than never, okay? Because Divine Masculine been feeling trapped. He been feeling trapped, okay, with this karmic and this family that he has over there with her, okay? Divine Masculine is very unhappy, okay? Divine Masculine stuck it out and been feeling trapped for the longest. Divine Masculine is suffering from depression right now. He's suffering from a lot of different mental illnesses right now, okay? Divine Masculine is suffering from PTSD. Divine Masculine has been going through it, but he is the person, okay, that chose to be with this karma. He ain't innocent, okay? But it looked like all this black magic and spell work that was done on him, okay, that was clouding his judgment is wearing off, okay? Divine Masculine been in solitude, and he's been in solitude. His spirit guides, okay, God, 
Jesus, the angels, and the ancestors, and okay, his spirit guys have really been working with him close to wake him up, okay, to sit up here and show him the truth and nothing but the truth, okay? It's the truth, okay? Where it go? Yeah, because he's been going through a spiritual awakening, so he has no other choice but to sit up here and accept who really ever really loved him. You loved him more than his own mama, okay? And his spirit, guys, is bringing it back to his memory, okay, on who really loved him, okay? Divine Masculine want a new beginning with you. Divine Masculine want to sit up here and work as a team, okay? He wants to bring this union back together, but he don't know how. OK, but he's leaning on God to do it. OK. And the reason why Divine Masculine has been procrastinating because the way that he sat up here and abandoned you, the way that he did you. OK, the way that he stepped away from you, he know that he took a coward's way out and he know that that was really hurtful. The more and more he thinks about it, this is why he's so fucking triggered right now. OK. Divine Masculine is very critical on himself. OK, beating himself up, looking in the mirror, mad about how he went about on separating away from you. OK, how he went about it, how he ghosted you, how he sat up here and pulled back, how he put 10 knives in your back, how he acted like you never meant shit to his ass. OK, Divine Matthew feeling stupid. OK, super dumb, super stupid. And he's feeling extra triggered. This is one of the reasons why Divine Master wants to come in and bring you a gift. He know he better not come back empty handed. OK, coming to kiss your ass. OK, he know he fucked up and he right. You better come with a gift. I'm apologizing. Mm -hmm. Let's get uh, Divine Feminine prefer money. OK, you don't want no gift because you don't know if no hocus pocus. No damn spell work is on that gift trying to bind you back to his ass. OK, mm -mm. Divine Masculine been laying back thinking, listening to a lot of music, okay? A lot of messages and music sitting up here, feeling like that's what connects him with you, okay? You guys listen to a lot of music together, okay? And this is what's healing Divine Masculine at the present time. And you as well, okay? Divine Masculine telepathically sitting up here communicating with you. He's seeing the angel numbers, okay? He's seeing a lot of 444 and angel numbers, okay? This connection, this union is protected. You protected, he's protected, but he's been seeing the signs of synchronicities and he's been trying to communicate with you. And you already know that Divine Master is finally trying to be independent, finally trying to use his own brain instead of letting his mama and everybody else dictate what he needs to be sitting up here doing Divine Feminine. Because your Divine Masculine, he really is very much obsessed with you. Okay, always have been, even though he was in his pride. Okay. Divine Masculine been sitting up here having all type of flashbacks and dreams about you, okay? Sitting up here thinking about that juicy coochie when y'all used to make love, the way that you used to make him feel, how lovable that you was, okay? How you hugged him, how you kissed him, how you made him feel. Divine Masculine been having all type of flashbacks about that, okay? He can't escape that, okay? Divine Masculine is sitting up here dealing with trust issues, okay? Divine Masculine has been betrayed ever since he was a young boy, and it started with his karmic-ass mama, okay? This is one of the reasons why he got these guilt wounds and trust issues, okay? Something happened to Divine Masculine when he was a kid that made him not trust, that made him change, okay? And his mama know all about it, okay? She played a big part on why Divine Masculine acts the way that he acts, because she was a karmic, okay? It's the truth. I know y'all like, why is she so hard on his mama? Because she messy. She kept a lot of unnecessary bullshit going, and she was behind a lot of bullshit, okay? Knowing that this man been wanting to sit up here and team up with you, know that this man only loved you, and she played a big part on letting the devil use her to keep you guys apart. The divine masculine that made up his mind that he wants to work as a team with you and that you're the one that completes his heart, okay? Divine masculine has been in solitude, okay? And he knows that he wants this new beginning with you and only you. His heart beats for you, okay? And divine masculine feels very trapped, very trapped in his family dynamic. He hates sitting up here going home, being around her. His mama, the kids, and everything else, okay? 
He is tired. He's stressed out, and he's going through a lot. He loves his kids, but he don't like the family dynamic that he's in. That's not who he loves. That's not who he wants to be in a relationship with anymore, and he's tired of it. Divine Masculine been letting his mama sit up here and cloud his mind for the longest. His mama and the karmic could have been doing magic on Divine Masculine all this time. That's why they so fucking close, okay? Look at they musty mouth asses. And look at Divine Masculine being weak listening to that shit instead of telling his mama, hey, I love you, but I want to I want to sit up here and do what makes me happy. And Divine Masculine, he just let his mama and his karmic just push him around. The karmic reminds him of his mama. That's why he chose this musty mouth ass bitch. But he's letting us know that his mind is no longer cloudy. He's finally putting up boundaries, okay? And he's ready to sit up here and take that mask off and stop lying to himself, stop deceiving himself, and sit up here and acknowledge the way that he feels about you, okay? Divine Masculine got the knowledge, okay? He got the knowledge, and he's been sitting up here learning the different lessons on what he needs to do, okay? Let's sit up here and see what's going on with you, Divine Feminine, because he's finally putting up them boundaries, okay, and saying hail to the no no concerning his mama and his karmic, okay? Now, let me push this over. And let me sit up here and see what's going on with you, okay? We're going to use the journey to divine feminine, okay? And see exactly what's going on with your energy. Lord God, well, how is divine feminine feeling, okay? Divine feminine feeling hopeless, okay? She feels as though this relationship, this union is over and done with. She's no longer holding on. She thought that divine masculine would at least have been done to work by now. And she feels hopeless with the situation. What else? How else you feeling, Divine Feminine? Lord, let us know how Divine Feminine is feeling behind the scenes. Okay, you ain't got nothing to say, Divine Feminine? Okay, there you go. Okay, Divine Feminine says she manifested, manifesting, trusting God and letting God lead her steps. That's what she's focusing on, building a stronger relationship with God and manifesting, okay, having faith, okay? Exactly, Divine Feminine, okay? What else, Divine Feminine? What else? Okay, Divine Feminine says she has inspiration from God and she's trusting him, going through a spiritual awakening, transformation, okay, and she's trusting God, okay? What else? Okay, Divine Feminine says sometimes she thinks back on Divine Masculine, okay? But then she hurry up and sit up here and remove that thought with something else, okay? What else? She says she know that Divine Masculine is thinking about her heavy, okay? And he is. Divine Feminine says she's finally starting to feel better. She's feeling on cloud nine. Divine Feminine could be dating someone else, okay? And sitting up here to put her focus into a whole nother relationship. Or is about to, okay? Divine Feminine, she could be sitting up here. Okay, you guys is both mirroring with this intimacy, okay? You might sit up here and been feeling Divine Masculine pulling on your energy in a sexual way, okay? Yep. Okay, because, yep, y'all both got these cards out, okay? You know that he been pulling on your energy, and this is what he been thinking about, that good, juicy coochie, okay? And you know it's good, okay? If you didn't know you, wouldn't you love you too, okay? Because Divine Feminine says she healing. Divine Feminine says she healing and being the best her that she can sit up here and be. Divine Feminine ain't got time for no more negativity and bullshit. What else, Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine says she rising like the phoenix, okay? Divine Feminine said, mm-mm, you can't keep a good one down, okay? Divine Feminine says she done picked herself back up with the Lord's help and moving forward. And healing, yes, girl. Divine Feminine said, mm-mm, she had to pull herself up out that rut, okay? And she's healing, okay? All praise is due to who? God, okay? Don't forget who's making it happen. What else? Okay, you sitting up here, um, need to sit up here and um, do research to see what your spirit animal is, okay? What does it say? It says, crosses your, it says, a reflection of you crosses your path, guide, or protects you on your journey, okay? For someone or something that relates, relates to or admires, Okay. 
Yep, Divine Feminine says she is. She just confused at this point on why she even even liked Divine Masculine, even wanted to be with him. She don't understand how she could even hook up with somebody like Divine Masculine with all the different things that she knows now. Okay, and she's no longer confused of what she needs to do. Okay, Divine Feminine, you're gonna have a spirit baby coming in. Somebody's pregnant or about to get pregnant or already is pregnant, okay? But this baby is gonna be special, make you happy, and this guy's gonna bless this baby, okay? You ain't got nothing to worry about. I know the times is hard out here in the world, but you best believe that God got you. Don't get to stressing. That's a special baby, okay? Divine Feminine, you could have felt sad recently till you had a good cry. Or you happy that you no longer crying behind this bullshit, okay? What else, okay? Divine Feminine, you being confrontational to anybody that wants to come on that bullshit or negativity. You letting they ass know. You speaking up for yourself and you ain't taking no more bullshit, okay? And if your Divine Master come with the bullshit, you ready to let him know how you feel and anybody else, okay? Speak up, okay? Divine Feminine said, she ain't no longer heartbroken, okay? She's been working on herself, and she recognizes exactly how much work that she's been doing on herself, and she's very proud, okay? It says being proud of oneself, okay? Giving oneself credit for all the hard work that has been put into one's journey to heal, okay? Divine Feminine is happy because she done came a long way with all the pain and hurt that she done went through in her life. And she's proud to look at herself in the mirror and see that she been sitting up here just really sitting up here killing it with her healing, okay? Doing the damn thing, okay? Go, girl. And she been seeing the signs and synchronicities as well, just like your Divine Master is, okay? It just show how y'all mirroring, ain't it? Oh, God, do it. Okay, and you are, and you know that Divine Masculine is telepathically sitting up here sending you messages, okay? Because he is, okay? Did we just see that? Yes, we did, okay? Mm hmm. Isn't that crazy? Y'all both sitting up here seeing the synchronicities, okay? Y'all both sitting up here, okay? And you and your goddess energy feeling good, healing each and every day. Got your heart open to receive your blessings and your abundance that's coming your way. Okay. Mm-hmm. What else? Okay. And you being assertive, working on yourself to improve yourself, to be the best you that you can be, Divine Feminine. You working on yourself. You ain't down and out, okay? And you know that your twin flame will always be with you, but you ain't letting them back into your life in no type of way, friend, lover, anything, unless he does the work, okay? Because what? You and your God is energy, and you ain't letting nobody hold you back, okay? Never again, okay? And you're done being passive. You're done letting people sit up here and fuck over you without speaking up. Those days is over. You're checking people left and right. They come with that bullshit. You're checking them and you're sending them on their way and you're cutting them out your life, okay?